Yeah, she throw it all type of ways Hop in they swerve, shooters don't miss Yeah, we feeling like go to stay Living too fast, slow up the pace Yeah, swerving in out of my lane I get the bag, I'm in the days Yeah, girly, she rockin' insane First change pace, now the thing's different Each and daddy one ballin' like a Scotty Pippin' But I'm joining everywhere, I think about it every day I've been abundant, I was dancing, I was born to get it Yeah, I don't serve, but wavy My tight, no stats, don't play me Just swing your hips, don't need no living That thing bad like HP I'ma tell you one time. I'ma tell you one time. Yeah. You don't wanna rush that night. You don't wanna rush that night. She tryna be my new team, so I put her on a new team. Yeah. You don't wanna rush that night. Baby, I'm about that. Blondie here. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> she is here. She actually sleep in the corner. I don't she know did. if you can. Uh... <laughs> hey, bro. Peter don't play that, bro. Chill, man. Peter, Peter don't play yeah, that, man. Peter, Peter don't play that, bro. calling people on me, bro. <gasps> nah, man. They, right. they gonna call the people on you, bro. You he know how strict they on the internet, man. I didn't kill her. She not dead. She sleep, man. Yeah, she really sleep, though. Because they All say right, that bro. about people in the casket. Right, oh, he's sleeping so peaceful. Damn, bro. <laughs> don't they say Talking that. about my dog while she sleeping. Nah, what's sleep, going man. on, man? It's your boy Dub in the building. It's your boy Ross in the building. It's your boy Benny. <laughs> It's your girl, Mally Mal. <laughs> she can't even do that intro. That's cold, bro. This nigga over talking about calling Peter. <laughs> Chilling, bro. Not worry about nobody. Peter, just... bro. Nah, somebody put that in the comment section. Like, man, we got to call Peter on that nigga, though. <laughs> oh, damn. Peter. P E P E T A. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Peter. No, Peter. He said he thought you said Peter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You Peter Parker, nigga. Peter, like so I said Peter, he was about to call Spider-Man on me. Hey, man, get this nigga done. Spider-Man is getting out of here. If you did do that, I wouldn't fuck with you no more. If a spider <laughs> nigga came to my house. A spider nigga. A spider, a spider nigga. nigga. Why can't be just a regular spider man? Hell no. Nah, a, a spider, spider nigga, nigga came to my house, bro. What's good, man? How did you stop? What's good, it? homie? <laughs> Throwing out webs and shit in the gang sign. He going to spell out blood. <laughs> Heard you talking shit, homie. It's the set. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck with you no more. This bro. is horrible. Oh, um, bro, we are only like two minutes in, no, dog. That nigga Come said on. Peter, bro. <laughs> nigga is hot. How y'all been, bro? How, how's y'all weekend been? How, y'all week? Cool, man. Had a birthday party today. Glad yeah, okay, it's over. okay. It's over now, so I can calm down till next year. Oh, till next year. Uh, what about uh, you, Marcus? It's been going pretty good. Nope. Days chill. Nowadays, are actually getting better. Okay, it's been chill. Yeah. And uh, Mally, man, it's been a minute what, since you've been on Mally, here. We ain't seen you yeah, in a it's minute. Been a minute, man. DJ Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Boy, bro. She knew I was about to kick that off. She got the yellow mic. She did. The yellow. <laughs> she yellow be the only. She the only one that be in sync. We don't want to just keep exactly. Yeah, we just. Like, she color coordinates with the mics every yes, time. Every time we got, got to do this. Cause I does. This. So how's it been though since the yeah, last time we've seen you? Um, Anything new? No, I'm a grad school. Hey, oh, insert applause. Hey, but I've been. It's not an <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm it's worth it, right? <laughs> hey, pony boy. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no for real. Oh. Said pony boy. <laughs> He stopped laughing immediately. <laughs> you know when a nigga hurting when you stop his laugh, especially from a goofy like this nigga. All right. Anyways, everything has been everything has been a one with me. Um, and life can't complain. Everything is flourishing. Life is going according as planned. Mm-hmm. Duh. So that's yeah. good. Yeah, it's always good to hear that. Yeah, always. Man. In a time where so much is going on, <laughs> like it's good to hear when people are doing good. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I don't know why I randomly thought about Burger Park just now. You all right? You hungry? <laughs> I had Burger Park. I am hungry. <clears throat> you, I had Burger Park not too long ago. Swear. And guess what? What? There, it's owned by Mex- Mexicans now. The but whole thing. And they... it tastes... No, it does not taste good. You know what I'm saying? Do they still only do cash only? <clears throat> yes. Bro, if you were No, no, I, to... you know what? I think they do car... Well, no. They Everybody got a cash app. I went yeah. there like no, last cash, year like to cash. introduce Nisha to it. I went there with my car and she's like, no, sir, we still do only cash. 
I said, ma'am, y'all been doing this shit since I was six. I'm like, damn, like, y'all still don't have <laughs> but a they, oh, yeah, slushies, money for though, a car still, machine. They nah, slushies is busting. But I'm not going to lie, the burgers are subpar. Damn. I'm not subpar? really. Subpar? Subpar. Not even. Damn, that's not good, bro. Niggas can't not even spell regular subpar. <laughs> Just subpar. Man. Sub. Niggas can't even spell subpar. Subpar. Par. Subpar. <laughs> what kind of par is it? P E R or P A? <laughs> let's let's get the E with the little squiggly line on the top of let's it. Let's get into the topic at P-O-R. hand, man. Yeah. P-O-R. A lot of people are gonna be subpar after Instagram hit them with this update, man. They're gonna be feeling subpar. So apparently Instagram next week uh is gonna be trying out this little method of basically hiding likes on accounts so basically Damn. you will be able to see your likes but your followers won't be able to see how many likes you get a lot of egos about to be tested hmm. you no know, you know what i think it's gonna be a lot of extra stuff going on people are gonna be posting for it well are they, everybody posts for likes like you know mm-hmm. influencers and stuff but for the people who are influencers it's gonna be interesting their yeah. posting life like are they gonna be going to the extreme to make sure they get that or snap like screenshotting every time they get oh put it in a post. ten thousand yeah. just in they're case also gonna be re- um, removing video <laughs> views too so you'll only be able to see your video views that, no no one else funny. gonna be able to see your so video for the so y'all feel about your, do y'all feel like there's something um okay to make everybody feel cool or do y'all think that's like? I think it's pros and cons to it because, like somebody said earlier, it's gonna bring out a lot of insecurities with people because mm-hmm. they live to wake up, take a great filtered picture, mm-hmm. and get right. three hundred likes on it right. for everybody else to see. And it's mm-hmm. like, now, damn, don't nobody see? I got three hundred likes versus three likes, and right. that's their self value for that yeah. day. And mm-hmm. then like, it's gonna like I said, it's gonna be interesting how the how Instagram like the. The social how how it takes a turn, mm-hmm. and I said earlier when we talked about it briefly, I think it is a social experiment, and I yeah, feel like crazy. it's it. But it's it's interesting though because there's a show on Netflix called Black Mirror. I heard about it, bro. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Black Mirror. If y'all haven't seen, people it, you keep gotta telling check it me out. to watch that show, and I just it is. Out. It is completely insane, but I could see it happening. And that's the scary part because it's like, dang, this world has gotten to that extreme to where I could see these things, some of them taking place. Yeah, because the first episode I tried to watch, it was like you had to, a man had to fuck like a pork. Like a pig or some shit, some yeah. weird. Okay, well, some of the some of the stuff like I said is it's, it's extreme. <laughs> I'm like, all right, this but for me. <laughs> but I but I can see it happening. But anyways, like I, I think it's something on the lines of that. Like yeah, most pig, of it, Walmart. you stupid, <laughs> <laughs> real ass pig. <laughs> <laughs> Oink. Look at the ass on that. <laughs> Oink. 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 <laughs> Man, you better shut up. Before <laughs> I cook you, nigga. <laughs> Put your ass on the grill. Better chill out. Oink your daddy. Ass and a couple of biscuits. <laughs> Did you say oink daddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yo, y'all is stupid, man. Yeah. I fucked this badass pig last night. Oh, word. <laughs> Damn, how big was she? She had a little curly tail. <laughs> <laughs> Not the curly tail. Straighten that hoe out. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> she was sticking up. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but did you eat her afterwards? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, he yes. I ain't busting her though. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't want to eat more. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> we <laughs> stupid. <laughs> We fucking retarded. Yeah, but did you eat them? Oh my god! Yo, that's Ross' question. Y'all, for real, we ain't gonna get through this. Podcast. But nah, it's because they. I heard a lot of people say some of the episodes they can really see it happening. Happen in certain things, they can see it. With the technology, it, yeah. That 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 was that's what is crazy because it's like. It's so fictional, but it's happening every day. Like everything. That's is crazy. Happening. So I think the social media, the I think it's gonna be interesting, and it's mm. gonna to see the desperation that people are gonna <laughs> yeah. go Posting like the extent. Video, uh, people are gonna post more. Their posts. Yeah, they're gonna mm-hmm. post more. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Now, and they're gonna be screenshot. Oh, look! In case you forgot, I'm still the best. Got a million views on this one. Hey. Now, apparently, they had been talking about this earlier this year. Like, there's been a study, and it's funny that you mentioned that. I there's it. been a study that uh, there's a correlation with likes to ex- like anxiety. So mm-hmm. people feel like if they don't get enough likes, they feel like they're, they're not, not worthy. Yeah, not important. Mm-hmm. So Is they've this been. Where we- yeah, and yeah, someone said the, the the like to your point, someone's like, so this is where we at now, where boys feel some type of way where they not getting enough likes. So someone else is getting more likes than them. They feel some type of way and they feel down. So we got to take everybody else's yeah. statistics away just to you know balance it out. So it, it's gonna be crazy because I feel like a lot of air quotations influencers because. People say they're influencers because they have a yeah. certain yeah. amount of people yeah. following them, but, but they're like, not influencing. Influence? Exactly. Yeah, they're not influencing anything mm-hmm. except their <laughs> egos. You feel me? So <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see wh- how this works and how long they're going to do this little trial period because they're only doing it in the U.S. right now. I believe they did it in Canada not too long ago. So they're just trying to test it out to see like what's going on algorithm wise and where it's going to lead to but Who's i do gonna lose popularity like right. oh, this is going to be fun it's like, going to be yeah. interesting i'm interested because boys but gonna... do you also think this is a chance for a, a new app to come up i do yeah maybe possibly this is a chance for another app to come in and be like hey They're gonna we got off you likes and views over here yeah. you know maybe i don't know we because i mean every app we've been on we thought it would never die like when we was on MySpace, we thought MySpace wasn't going nowhere. It we was, just knew that shit was just that whole my time. Nah. Shit was gonna be there forever. Yeah, and we just knew that it's like you couldn't fathom MySpace going yeah. away because it's like it had everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, low key, MySpace still got everything now. Like you can customize your page. And you I'm not board. gonna lie, I kind of missed that. Nah, you could do everything. With That's the why music I, come on and then you just see the little which was live and shit. It's like Bro. you sharing your personality yeah. at the time. Exactly. With everybody. And you low key was learning how to code. On the cool, really, yeah, <laughs> for real. You really I was know. learning how to yeah. code, cause if your page was missed, oh, damn, I messed up the code. I didn't copy and paste it correctly. Let me, Shit was going wrong. Missing a zero. Preview it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. So then, when that died, and then we went to Facebook, it was like, okay, even though Facebook it was still more, in there, Facebook mature. is more, more yeah, mature. Yeah. Mature. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm mature on Facebook. Oh, I can write. But they still talking bullshit. Yes. <laughs> what, what am I thinking now? Yeah, uh, it's a lot of family. I'm thinking you can. Yeah, it's a lot of more like family members you hadn't seen in a while on yeah. there. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Is boys gonna? I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of egos are gonna get gonna deflated. Start seeing a That's whole bunch weird. of crying videos. Yeah, right. <laughs> they about they about to start doing skits now with them taking it away. Mm. Like they about to start doing skits. What's gonna happen about people? Which is funny because black people yeah. get that. Yeah. So that which is weird as mm. like, it is weird. Oh, so they did that on the show? So there, there's an episode. Dang, I don't want to like spoil it, but there's an episode on there. By the time I... I know, right? But there's an episode on there. It's actually several. It's not. It's more than one episode about social media. Mm -hmm. So basically, this episode, um, they had everybody had phones, and whoever you interact with for the day, it was kind of like Uber. If you interact with them and you like them, you can they would have something above them or something like that. I heard about that. You can give them like five stars and thank you. And if you didn't like them, you can take stars away, and their their appearance will diminish, like mm. in oh. public. So you're walking around with this above your head, like with, it's, you yeah, can just see it with your so with your like social status oh. above your head of like wow. of five stars. You got a three point eight. So you and then you would see people going around. Um, Hi, and being all extra nice and stuff so they can get like right. point. I was like, that is crazy because this is this is Instagram. They talking about Instagram, but it was yeah. like real life. And they just mm. exaggerated the shit out of it too. They me. exaggerated, but it's mm. it's, it's true. literally it's true. true. So mm. well, that's kind of scary it's where scary. niggas feel like I mean, but you know, quick point. That's also a reason why people feel like they're less of themselves because they allow certain people to be on social media tearing them down like mm. people get true. suicidal for people and that's that was also media. another like case study involved in that where it was getting to the point where people feel less about themselves because maybe you know somebody's bullying them or oh bro you post something you barely got a like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and people feel like they're not as popular or as you know noticed because nobody checked their stuff out when in actuality, it really don't matter. But right. to them, that's all that matters. And like Marcus was saying, someone that wakes up in the morning and get 300, 400 likes, 
they day is made. But now <laughs> you see the 300, likes, but no, no one else sees see it. Right. So Man, no you, one you really want know. everybody to see it. Yeah, and that's that's the whole purpose of that's it. That's weird. That's that's the world we live in, man. Weird. So and it's gonna be interesting to see how many people complain about it. And the people that complain about it, you're gonna realize how severe they depend right. how important it is on because yeah. people play Other like, oh, I don't care for things. likes, but you care for likes. Why, <laughs> why, watch you share them statuses. So another question about that, and I know we're trying to get past this, but yeah, um, what does that mean for advertisers? Because advertisers mm. use um, that for analytics, use certain pages because of their following. I feel like they're going to have an exemption or something. Or maybe they're going to go by how much business they're getting. Mm -hmm. Or maybe because so, you can still see followers. Yeah. Yeah. So, so as long as, like, okay, okay yeah, well, go if I'm some big name company and I'm using uh, Instagram for advertisement, I still see what I'm getting. You know, if they're mm -hmm. liking my page, I see it. So I don't or care if everybody else can see it. Right. I don't care what everybody else because I see what my numbers are still. Yeah. And so. you know what? It's crazy because they just took away where you can see what somebody else like. They just took that away? Yeah, you ain't hear about that? Mm. Oh, no, I, I didn't know, know that, that either. Yeah. I didn't even know they had that. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, before. Like you can, you can, before you would be able to see what somebody else, else like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you know it's like, that? you gotta be on like some creep shit. Like, it ain't like I'm us. I'm saying. Like, you, you can't you go really to, to, to like a like specific a... person. It's like a it's, full. It's your feed. It's your yeah. whole friends list. Oh, and you can see who likes thing. such never, and such like these that. five pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. if you yeah. accidentally yeah. push that or swipe, you would see it. And I'm like, damn, what is this? Oh, and it'll tell you what who yeah. like what who followed who. Mm -hmm. So apparently really? they just took that away and I was just like, ah. Oh, so they sense. just been So they, they do that first and then they take away the likes, period. Mm. Lurking season is over. And to big <laughs> uh, piggyback on your point. That you was just talking about marketing wise. Somebody on Twitter was talking about uh speaking of piggies. <laughs> you stupid. Not a good oh marketing. Not a good marketing <laughs> strategy for businesses purposes. That's what I was saying. And an option to the user. Yes, if it's a choice, but disabling is from seeing likes completely will ruin Instagram's users in the US. Don't like the idea. Throw up emoji. So that's a good thing because well, not a good thing, but it interests me to see the people that are only popular or making money mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. likes like those people that be in them fashion over yeah like yeah that. that's where they get so that. how is fashion over gonna pay you <clears throat> if they don't know if they don't know what you're actually getting mm. maybe like i said maybe like you know when you after you make your purchase like who refer who preferred you where'd you hear from us from well, most niggas or, won't play. they don't yeah. do that yeah. niggas or maybe, oh, maybe they'll create this. a link give me this to, damn like email. a direct link yeah no they can do that yeah no they can do yeah. that direct links still work so okay. yeah you do yeah. a direct link like oh use this link or use my code you know like you mm -hmm. can do the you know oh, you but i think that's only off. gonna work for certain people i don't think it's gonna yeah. be able to work not for everybody for all the people that's I on agree. instagram i swear fashion over got everybody everybody a part of the company. i got fashion no they Nova just take their names they only got exactly. a few brand ambassadors and them i doubt they all get the same publicity not at all the ability to be able to get that direct link yeah so speaking of this social media stuff crazy we all know the Popeye's chicken sandwich just came yeah. back recently. And, you know, boys been waiting on it like it's just the best thing ever. So but who has, who's tried it? I have. I've tried it. I tried it before the Crave. Like okay. before it was big. They have, they've always, they didn't always have it, but it's it's been there you since told earlier me that this when year. It came yeah. Out, yeah. Like it's been and there. And that's crazy because I remember <clears> it, <throat> they, I remember it debuting. It, was, it wasn't a big thing like this. I don't really <clears throat> know what caused it. Wasn't Something it happened in Chick fil A? I think what happened was people started saying it's better than Chick fil A. Oh. And so when that was off. said, that's when everybody oh, was like, Christians I have like, to try this. Not my sandwich. Because right. we all know Chick fil A mm -hmm. is handmade by God himself. Right. right. So when you say oh, it's better than Chick fil A, I got to try it. And then it just popped, it just off, popped on, off on, on social media. But boys. then, too, how many Popeyes is it against Chick fil A's? Right. I can find three Popeyes going down right. Cullen. Yeah, it's a lot. I won't find a Chick fil A going down Cullen. But where are Chick fil A's and where are Popeyes? Exactly. But you got more people going to Popeyes in it's those true. hoods than you do <clears throat> Chick fil A. It's just it's my true. opinion. I don't know the real numbers, I don't That's know true. who's making what. But. Mud. Basically, it blew up off of social media. I, right. I know what the Chick Fil A sandwich tastes like only because I've been eating it for a while. I've never tried the Popeyes chicken sandwich. I never even thought had a desire. I never even honestly. thought about giving it. I mean, even first of all, Popeyes is is good, but it's like it's, I feel like it's just hype. You feel me? Because even if I wanted to try it, it's like 
mm, nowadays niggas <laughs> niggas getting stabbed and shit. Right. And, you mean to tell me the day that I want to go for my lunch break, I'm going to die? Yeah, yep, bro, right. Like, oh, a chicken who sandwich. would think that, nigga, you about to go eat a chicken sandwich? But you also going to die. You t- how do you explain that to Jesus? Like, right. man, I was walking on the 15th. It wasn't even my time yet. I was... I wasn't even supposed, to be, was was supposed to be on break. Was that a lesson? <laughs> right. Can so, I go back and try to... They gave me 30 minutes. I took an hour. Like, <laughs> right. I wasn't even supposed to be over here. So, apparently... Yes, it don't matter now. He cut so in line. And... Uh, the dude that, who got stabbed? Yeah, that's how it happened. He oh. cut in line. Is it that serious? It's not. It's like, not. It's not that I serious. haven't tasted anything that good in my life that's worth dying for. Me either. Yeah. There's me no either. food out there that's honestly that's worth dying for like that, bro. It's and I'm sure that wasn't the last but one. But it was, it's no me. food that it is worth me stabbing somebody either. Like, it's, right. Exactly. It's, <laughs> like, I'm going to get mad that you skipped. I'm going to be but mad. I'm not stab the guy you. looking real suspect, too. That's that's what makes it that's worse. That's the stabber? Yeah, that's the st- <laughs> show stabber. Show, show the- <laughs> the stab. My guy, he, he, he was looking hungry. Oh, you know he's disturbed. Saying? He don't even like he was there to buy nothing. Nah. <laughs> Nah, bro. He was there two steps. He someone. was there to rob <laughs> joint. He did a star shit. Oh, the niggas touch my shoelace. I'm like, he's stabbing niggas today. So yeah, That's but weird. it's it's sad that you know this happened. And Somebody also, lost a life over a chicken. Over sandwich. a chicken sandwich. Over a chicken sandwich. Like when you say that shit three times. <laughs> right. I can't even. Don't mind the Wait. background because that ain't how everybody else. Nah, feels. No, it's not me. No, it's I don't feel me. like that. I just feel like damn, <laughs> that's some messed up. That's the world we live in, bro. Like a chicken sandwich, like, and that's the thing. What? Like you know how you go to jail. I wonder if heaven like jail. Like you know when you go to jail, you like oh man, what happened? What you he keeps info? saying right. Oh like, yeah, I robbed somebody. Like you know what I'm saying? You I, in heaven, like bro, man, what happened to you, man? <laughs> Shit, bro. Stabbed that nigga over. Heard chicken about sandwich. a chicken sandwich coming out of Popeyes. <laughs> Dog, Never I'm had not, it before. I'm not doing it. I had bro. to hurry and get back to work. Nigga was in the front. <laughs> I'm not doing it, bro. So I skipped. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm bleeding out. <laughs> I'm Here I am trying it, to explain it to Jesus. He just it, had. Bro. I'm not. He pardoned me. I'm not, bro. I just don't understand. Like, I always said this, like, bro, I got to go out doing some crazy shit. Like, some right. 007 G.I. Joe. I'm going to be really upset if it's like on some chicken sandwich shit. Like, damn, nah, man, you died. Your whole life you live Warren, and okay, did a bunch of bro. shit. Like, how old was the dude that he killed? Uh, that I do not know. Like, your whole life. Because I don't think they re- uh, released. Oh, dog. They showed his whole fit. That boy had Nike slides. Nike bro. slides with the high. With, he you wasn't know. there to buy that. He had a jean jacket on oh, with a hoodie on, with a hoodie on top of it. And uh, some Nike slides with some seems to look like sweatpants. Yeah, but the, the sweatpants don't sweatpants. go all the way down. The homies. <laughs> <laughs> there are homeless sweatpants and regular sweatpants. Yeah, no, nah, that's are. not act different. No, nah, yeah, got, there are. There are. <laughs> and the homeless we, sweatpants always got that square look like a patch. Like yeah, yeah, sold yeah. It. Everybody know the homeless Baggins. sweatpants. Damn. Uh, bro. Bow bag and sweatpants. <laughs> and then he had somebody else with him. The chick with the, the braids? Yeah, she was. She's part of the suspect list. Did they they looking for him. <laughs> How they looking for him? They got a whole HD ass picture of him. Well, I think this just was released because at first they didn't have it. All they got to do is go back under the bridge. They not gonna find him no more. <laughs> Damn, bro. That nigga oh look like God. a lot of niggas oh I see. All right, bro. Downtown. What is, is that not true? Like, but the reason why I'm bringing this up because you know how we say a lot of white people look the same. True. I can't tell homeless people apart sometimes. <laughs> I agree. I don't know how we Are got we not going to be real? I don't well, know I how we that. got here, bro. <laughs> I know my, my man's looking kind of struggling. But <laughs> Tell me right now, you never seen a nigga in Houston that looks just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nigga just like that. A nigga just tried oh, to MLK. wipe my windshield at the stoplight. Exactly. Like, Damn, bro, no, no. Oh. And he did it anyway. Yeah, he, he did it anyway, bro. I'm like, so does the light turn green. I ain't giving you shit. I Damn, told you no, nigga. Bro. I remember my sister got out of the car where they were about to beat this nigga ass. <laughs> oh, she said, no, no, no. And he was still about to do it. Like, the shit was wet. I seen him about to hit the window. She got out the car and said, no. <laughs> that nigga was like, like something was wrong with her. Like, nigga, you just forcing your wipe on people's windows. <laughs> forcing your wipe, bro. You gonna wipe my it'd window. Be, it'd be like the dirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> like nobody told you to wipe my shit, bro. Like take it easy. Take it easy, my <laughs> god. I just got my the, car washed. The, People be the homeless people be spitting sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Be, they germs in the water and shit. Sometimes like, they be spitting. I, I, I got. I don't right? want that it's, energy on my car. Right. I don't want the energy. Know what kind of acid you got bro. up in that mouth? As soon as I'm they like, wipe your window, this nigga, it's, you, you start the, losing shit in life. Oh <laughs> damn! I'm not losing shit, bro. It's like some bad juice. Like it's a bad mojo. But this goes back to the social media stuff. How social media can create a wave to make. People feel like they got to have this chicken. Mm. Like they have to have this sandwich. And it, it only started because of just the popularity and how big it got. And now it's gotten to the point where people are arguing and fighting at the drive through I'm just saying, I ain't never seen nobody do this over a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Bro, for right. real. But how did they They act with, civilized. How did, how did that happen, Ross? What? Hey, yo, my man. High fives is the ghetto. <laughs> You ain't see all of us standing Chief back here in line? December. When someone said you ain't see all of us, he clearly saw every last right. one of you niggas. Hey, yo, my man. My man. My man. Hey, yo, my man. Waiting. We've been waiting in this. You ain't see all of us in line back here, my man? <laughs> hey, yo, somebody get this man fool. Where was he from? Where this was guy was Maryland. 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 I know. Oh, that's even Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, the best thing they got out there is Popeye's. <laughs> Oh yeah, nah, I get it. I get it now. All right, all right. Let me shut up. I get it. All I've right. been waiting 15 minutes, bro. Wait, they was from Maryland. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, else shout out, out to Drake. <laughs> oh god, ain't shit else out there. But chicken, people's Land Drake. And chicken. Yeah, that's, that's it. No, I'm gonna shut up because I get it. <laughs> nah, I, I I get it. I stab a nigga too. What? That's it. Wait, <laughs> chicken? My bro, God, you tripping? You are, they don't got no sweet tea, right? Isn't that where they don't got the sweet tea? <laughs> Wait, what? That's why you went to college. In you the don't city. understand, like up north, they don't do sweet tea. Nobody yeah. ever told y'all that. Mm -mm. Y'all some southern niggas travel. Hey, no, I've been to these. The I've more you go there, north, they don't do like sweet tea and shit. No, that's not true. They I, they still have sweet tea at Popeye's. But it's like, it's not like a, I don't know if it's No, Popeye's. it's not like a delicate. It's, it's not, not like a, a it's not like how we delicacy. normally get like sweet tea. Um, mm. Sweet tea, sweet please. Tea, <laughs> sweet tea. Where is this nigga from? <laughs> <laughs> Must be Clearly. From Mississippi. One of them down, one of them down south Juicy boys. Smule friends. <laughs> a juicy oh, Smule friends. Juicy. <laughs> juicy Smule friends. You gotta watch you, buddy. We know how you get down. Everybody knows Juicy Smule. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Juicy, <laughs> juicy Smule. Shout out Dave Chappelle. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. I'm oh, not going to make it yeah, through this. <sighs> well, that's hey, crazy. man. Chicken that's that's, that's A uh, chicken goddamn sandwich. <laughs> a chicken I, I can't sandwich, wrap bro. my mind. You living your whole life and just get taken He's out. Of <laughs> Dub is not feeling that. I, just, I mean, I get it. It's 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 Because, you know, people at the field don't be wanting to know what happened. Right, oh, oh my that's just you gotta make some shit up. And it's for like me. You, it's like you say, oh, he was murdered. Well, damn, damn, bro. What well, how? Well, that nigga went out, bro. He was pop, pop, pop. He got shot in the leg, pop. Then nigga got shot in the arm, pop. No, he even got shot in the head and was still moving. <laughs> like, it gotta be some shit. On the bitch where right. they gonna have a faded like. Uh, chicken sandwich in the back. <laughs> oh, she got to cut. God. All right, cut her mic off. <laughs> cut her mic off, bro. She oh, got. She got to go. It's gonna be like transparent with the person <laughs> with oh, the Popeyes ladies. Like, you know, like when they put them Welcome Negro wings. Oh, um, bro. All right, <laughs> next topic, dog. This okay. <laughs> love Franklin from no. Popeyes. <laughs> next top, bro. <laughs> gonna use the theme. Popeye's gonna cater to oh, okay. We're sick. No, we, we some, done. We done. We, we done. sicko okay, mode done. right okay, now. We on some sicko <laughs> mode shit. I got Anywho, I, I got to repeat. I know y'all oh, been God. been she seeing said. that clip of the the mom, pretty much roughing up the. He said brutalizing, <laughs> roughing up the child at school for his uh his misbehaving and his conduct. Well, apparently, uh, <laughs> CPS said, nah, we ain't having that. I knew that. it. I knew it. And I they uh, it. took the child and uh, apparently her other children. They snatched up all the kids. Damn. Because once a case is made, they not just come. If you, whatever kids live in your house. Everybody. Air, you getting looked at. I'm the everybody. next door neighbor. You coming with us. <laughs> like, right. Type everybody stuff. Everybody like, club. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> live here. If you're abusing one child, you got to be abusing all of them. Right. So Damn. we taking all of them. Damn. Now God. you lost your kids. To me, that was Because you tried to make a point. It was normal to me. <laughs> now so, we're about to start I breaking agree. down to us, into it our is psyche. Normal, but on video, it doesn't look people. Now let's let's put that into context. Say in our era, 
we had cameras around like that. <laughs> would we? Would we? A lot, a lot of us, us would have been growing no. up in the system, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's right just be one hundred. Let's keep it real. But that's the only thing that separates when we were little to this child. Yeah, well, his situation now is the fact that it was recorded and put yeah. on the social media where everybody, everybody looks at the internet all day every day. True. Because there's people that are my age was talking about. Oh, this is. Oh, this was too much. And in my mind, I'm like, they grew up. In the same area as me, right. at the same type of parents, or I'm like, right, life is must because be in my, good. In my you, mind, that wasn't enough because she didn't even. She whoop barely him. whooped him. It was just yeah. Over. I didn't like how she talked Talk to him because yeah. I also believe that I would have a child is gonna act like whatever you call him, mm-hmm. yeah, and true. she kept calling him a nigga. Yeah, so I yeah. had an issue and with any, that. Anytime, but I'm that wasn't no real whooping. Anytime I've ever been disciplined, I never, you know, it wasn't like no nigga this, nigga that. You know, say it was. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna punish you, and then you gonna, you know. I'm gonna tell you why, but I'm also gonna call you a nigga, cause I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I ain't know how to respond. Okay, yeah. oh, I, mean, I, well, okay. I mean, I think I don't know. Go. <laughs> nigga didn't go. Shout out to you, Devin. I don't know. It's like it's it's like something that just comes like rolls off the tongue, like kind of roll. <laughs> Are we rolling today? <laughs> Little no. <laughs> no, but it, I think sometimes it, it like it does roll off the tongue. Do I agree with like all the MFers and all that? Eh, no, I, I would have been like he was a nigga, a nigga on the street. Street. like yeah, no, right. it was like her, like her personal, yeah. like, when nigga. Chick- like she had a problem. Somebody said she was treating him like <laughs> uh, she was taking it out on him from what the baby daddy did, <laughs> mm-hmm. cheating on her. So What's up, nigga? Like, she, oh, you look like your daddy. She gave him all him. that aggression yeah. type shit. You gotta watch out for the ones wearing she the can't J's, talk about bro. Nobody looks. She had the J's on. Yeah, matching, when a woman wearing the J's, eyeliner. <laughs> yeah. you saw the eyeliner in the it video. It was blue, bro. She had some Ross, blue. Zoom in. The shit out that video. <laughs> it was blue <laughs> with the over over abundance of eyelash going on. She was like, damn. Didn't see anything? I was about to say. I, I saw it. all that shit. I didn't see that. Either I way. saw the boy had on pink socks and some flooding pants. Yeah, though. bro. He was struggling Man. in that fit. I just seen his collar. That's yeah. all I seen. Oh, it's all, coll- it all up his neck. When the collar was stressed out. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. not a good look. I mean, yeah. we can admit we didn't have the stretch collar action going on. A few you know times. what I'm saying? Come on, get your I mean, I yeah. had some flooding pants too because, you know, when you at that age, you grow so fast. I mean, excluding the, the, the clothing. Mm hmm. Her behavior. I, well, I ain't gonna say her behavior. I feel like her words did the worst because right. he. She really didn't whoop him. Yeah, no, she, didn't. she didn't. It was that, more of the. Like I got it. <laughs> yeah, type shit. Way worse. Boy, man. So that's why it's sorry, it's mom. crazy now. <laughs> you out here telling my business. <laughs> that's why it's crazy what, what now. I do in this house stays in this house. Right. How yeah. times that's have changed living. so much where even disciplining your child in public, even if there's not cameras, if somebody sees that. Oh, yeah, they, they can, can report, report that. They can step in and, and, and yeah, everything now is call risk, CPS, like, yeah. call the people. What? But the only thing Help that's the child. crazy about that situation, is, mm-hmm. separate from this one, is um they don't want you to beat your, beat your kids so they can kill them. Hmm. True. Because I feel like the Bible says when you can't chastise your child, and it, it don't have to be to the rod. extreme of that. But when you can't do <clears throat> anything to your, your child, child. and then they grow up with this. Chip on their shoulder, like, nah, mm-hmm. nigga, you ain't gonna touch me. I ain't me. never got a whoop. And then <laughs> they go outside, they're gonna have that same mentality. They feel like everybody in the world's gonna treat them, nah, you can't, my own mama don't touch me, so right. you damn sure ain't gonna touch me. And then when the laws get up on your ass and you being disrespectful because you don't have that respect, and you've never had that respect factor. Mm-hmm. And my children, I can't just put my children in time out. I've tried that. Like, I'm, you know, I'll be real. Like, I, I try not to be a parent that's just always whooping ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I at least try to have a conversation. Yeah. But as I, I get it, like, that time out shit don't work. My fucking son have fun in time out. That nigga Bro, be over there doing what? shit. He be just counting and shit. Just, <laughs> like, nigga, you don't even know how to count. Fuck you over there. In the corner, fun. just <laughs> grooving. Three, six, nine. They done created a new dance. They're counting threes and Baby, shit. Come out of time, out time, about you wrote a song. Baby, shark. With a mixtape. Hey, shit. Dad, I'm about to come and drop this hot. Dad, look at my mixtape. It's hot fire. Them, hey, Dad, give me that minutes. microphone that's in the room. I appreciate that time out. My mixtape dropped them all. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the and fuck? And so it, it just don't work for yeah. my child. <laughs> drop I think them all. every parent should know what works for their child. Yes. Right. To me, in the black community, 
it's you know we got a little bit more we got to kind of hone down and it's mm-hmm. like because yeah. when they go out there in the world now all of a sudden you got this ignorant ass kid mm-hmm. the officer is quick to say i was i felt like i was threatened okay. and my life was in danger right they are that's your child so that's, now like they gone you, yeah. yeah. you got to learn your child's personality because exactly. everybody different everybody different you can't, I can't tell you. you can't lash out at everything they do wrong right. and not talk right. to them because you know they go get closed in and they're not going to exactly. ever want to talk and you'll never know what's wrong. they just going to act out and you always raising your hand at them. And that, I mean, that don't work. I, my son is two. And I know like some people are like, oh, well, he's just two. So you don't, man, listen. Nah, you got to. Two-year-old, like, really like they, will, yeah. they will test. They try you. They, they try and they test you. My son will literally, I would tell him, Ace, don't do it. He knows yes mm-hmm. and no. He, mm-hmm. will clear, he will look at me square in my eye. <laughs> he look square in my eye and be like, so <laughs> that's dead. Damn. Ass. And I'm no, he will literally do it. I have it on dude. video. And I, I I don't know where he gets it from. Uh, I've never done that from my mom. No, no, seriously. Okay. I don't do that. Said, I don't do I've okay. never done it to my mom. Okay, you might not so, have did it like that. Bro. So he so he does it when he does Shit. that, I'm just like, no, he'll so. <clears throat> but you know, he does it with the emphasis and everything. So I'm just like, so now you know what you're doing. I'm right. telling you. So you know what's about so to happen. <laughs> So now you know so you that know. this when, hand when is going to meet that, your butt. I thought about the memes when it go black and white and you get the shades and the cigar. <laughs> <on. laughs> right. <laughs> oh, and it's a like, thug. the waters. Yeah. So that's why. That's why. So. So. <laughs> and I, bro, I'm going to send you the video so you can edit it. Because that seriously, he, that's what he so, does. Man, that's a lot of editing. <laughs> you, you own one today. <laughs> I'm going to send you the video so you can edit it. You're welcome. Render it. You're welcome. I'm gonna cut this shirt so I can uh, get to editing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I know like talking does not work for everybody. For my child, I realize that talking is just not what he does. That you ass. got <laughs> you gotta put the hand to the butt. What did with Nick him. say? You got to. What did Nick <laughs> say, Marcus? <laughs> I got a story. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus got, got a story. Marcus not to the extent to where he's like, not to the extent to where he's like limping or nothing, but yeah, he yeah, don't yeah. feel it. And yes. then he's gonna know. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> so right before limping, yeah, right? yeah. the threshold, the no, not to just limps, not feel nothing. That okay. threshold before he limps yeah. and he's walking, that fine <laughs> thing before the nerves right go numb. <laughs> you got to get him in the right spots. Yeah, the right, right. spots. Stop moving, boy! Before I hit you in the wrong place. Yeah. Right, that's why I get hit with the buckle. Got a lap on the neck. <laughs> I told you to be still. Now you checking him and say, God, come here. God <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, I can I see you, man. Shit. Oh, look, look, look. You know, our kids like light skin. You know, no, you know, you know, when yeah, you, you, know, when you whoop a child saying. too hard, when you, after you whoop them and they crying and you just like, come here. Yeah, you're like, God damn it. Let me come check here. you. Let, 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 me, let me check you. Are you all right? <laughs> you want to hold them now? I told you. All right? you. Now listen, I, I didn't mean to do that. I ain't mean. No. You know what you did, but right. I, you cannot do that. You know you meant that. I just hate that after whooping speech. You know I love you, right? Ooh, oh, not the God. you know I love I don't you. I want to hear this. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but you like, mm-hmm. in my mind, I want to knock you the fuck you out right now. Ass yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, mm hmm, I know. You know what you did was wrong. Because love looks so angry. I know. Right. <laughs> but in your mind, like, love bro, hurts. you could have just told me that. <laughs> right. We could have started with that. Is that why love hurts to us? Because it actually <laughs> hurt it to us? Bars. Think about uh, this. Shit. Okay. Let this shit settle in. Nah, nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this gonna settle in. Maybe the next podcast. Y'all Don't record that one. Oh, oh my God. I get no. it. No, <laughs> it's not working. There's gonna be somebody in the comment section like, I agree. So They're gonna be like, I wanted Dang. to get into Marcus' story <laughs> that pertains yeah, to, oh. to this one. This shit is hilarious, bro. bro. Y'all okay. gotta listen. So, to put a little piece of my personal life out there, I. <laughs> raised my little brother who is now 14 Mm -hmm. i'm 28 um i was talking to everybody about (sighs) y'all gonna make me tell this story yeah okay there's going to come a time where especially if you for the fathers there's going to come a time where your son is going to test you for the mothers there's going to come a time where your daughter is going to test you Um, (laughs) to make a long story (laughs) short He was having some issues at school and Mm -hmm. I addressed those issues with the teachers and they let me know that he just hasn't been, you know, doing his due diligence. Damn, Nick. Due diligence. Yeah, you put his name out there. Oh, do you know what patronize means? (laughs) Is that one of the words you passed? (laughs) (laughs) On your spelling test? That's an SAT word. (laughs) (laughs) It's a sat word. He looking at (laughs) it. So anyway. (laughs) 
It's a sad word <laughs> looking at. Say it's a sad word. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, in the midst of me trying to address this issue, I'm like, well, hey, do whoopings really work for this guy anymore? Mm. Let's find out. So, <laughs> Lisa, let's tell, find out. What did you tell him to do, Marcus? Bro, <laughs> he told him. To so, do. tell the story. Just tell, tell, tell the story. I want to hear you. I want to hear so, you say. So, this it. is where the ninety-year-old me came in, mm. <laughs> and my dumbass told this fourteen-year-old boy to lay on the couch. <laughs> okay, so lay on the couch. You can take you whooping like a man. You told him. You thought a 14 year old grown ass in 2019 at that was gonna lay down That's the same willingly. Height as him almost, bro. Yeah, was gonna willingly just right. lay down on a a, a love sofa <laughs> <laughs> like that and, and just take it. I can't stand her. That wasn't even gonna happen. I don't it even think I could have did that. <laughs> but lay down. I would have looked at fuck you. Me. Lay down nigga. in the wake of in the wake seat. of me saying lay on the couch. This this is the 90 year old me. He brought out the 28 year old me. Oh, I walk in with the belt. <laughs> and this Negro looks me up and down, got a little swole chest, and said, Oh, you can put that down. <laughs> oh, that shit never gets Oh, my God. That shit still funny. That bro. shit still reads. <laughs> it's like you want to say, Even you think he, said, he said, What? That nigga say, Oh, oh you, you can, can put, put that, that down. down. I know he hit the nod too. Like, oh, you can put that down. He did. The nod, the nod. He actually did, That's man. Had to have put the nod. You can put that down, boy. boy. Oh, you can put that down. And so, for a split second, <laughs> when he boy. said it, I threw the belt on the couch, and it, for in my in my my head, I said yes, <laughs> yes, and like the, this too. My yes. hair was. Are you, you ready, ready to rumble? <laughs> he tries to become a man. You win yes. some. You, you lose, lose some, some. Mm. but you would live to fight another day. <laughs> Rest in peace. But tonight oh. you're not winning. So <laughs> that's where the story ends. I will not tell the rest of that story. Oh, okay, but okay, cool. it's just to let you know these next. children, <laughs> especially. <laughs> hey, we were listening to a podcast <laughs> episode nine, and we want to speak. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> hey, that won't fly. I know the law. That's yeah. what you say. They can't assume shit. Yeah, true. That still ain't gonna stop them from calling. <laughs> they can call them. Like, um, um, who is that other light skinned guy that was sitting on the couch? Uh, <laughs> my name is with the glasses. My name is Dub. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Dub. <laughs> Yeah, go with that. I live in- hey, damn, girl. <laughs> now nah, I really got to edit. Oh, wait. Good wait. edit. He going to have to cut that one out. <laughs> nah. For real, for real. He gonna have to- nah. She wasn't thinking wait. when she said it. No. That's, that's a real. Give me sad. <laughs> Wonder where that nigga live. They coming. Yeah, nigga, you been fucking with B- B- Blondie, huh? This Peter. <laughs> this the Peter gang, nigga. It's the Peter game. They gonna roll up on me with some uh, doggy, doggy snacks. Gonna throw them hoes at me. <laughs> Get his ass, Chico. Oh my god, bro, you stupid. Oh, shoot, dog. the Peter game, nigga. The Peter game. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Peter game for life <laughs> Good dog. So, I gotta so tell yeah. you my calf Oh my god at, at that point you gotta do what you gotta do as a parent However you decide to handle that situation When they get swole chested with you Nah you gonna have to put that It's up to you You might as well put that down <laughs> You're gonna, you gonna have to put that down I don't know what oh, you about to do boy. with that oh, but no. I, I, I'm, I not, know, I'm not man. ready for that moment With my son so, do you agree with her actions, or do you feel like it was too much? I'm not going to incriminate myself. Like, <laughs> well, you're talking with my older son or the lady? With the lady. Do you agree what she did was necessary, or okay, look, let's coming look, from a parent's perspective? Let's look at pros and cons. <clears throat> she talked to that nigga way too harsh, but mm-hmm. she did the shit in public. That's the wrong thing, bro. You can't do that shit in public. And she talked to him like he was another nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other than that, um, I appreciate her for even going up there to check the niggas. Cause Cause some some people dog. at work, you gotta leave work because you didn't find out Ray Ray being bad. <laughs> Ray Ray, and Ray, 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 Ray was at lunch and drinking his milk. Right. Ray Ray and lunch drinking his chocolate milk, thinking shit sweet. <laughs> and his mama comes storming them up. Could you imagine this nigga Bro. not even seeing her? Damn, he, he just right. hey yo, nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> like that's the most. You bro, swung out and this is the scariest and feeling in said, the world. she said, now go back in there. I know your friend's going to be talking about this. I'm like, yeah. oh. Like, how do you sit down and your friend, I'll be like, damn, Ray Ray. Just yeah. looking at your collar. What happened you outside? Your shit just. And you flooding, like. Yeah, like you know. So that's. <laughs> like, bro, you got to leave work. I don't think children understand how jobs are. Mm-hmm. Act like you don't got kids. Right. Like, mm-hmm. They don't give a fuck. Shit don't go on I don't know kids. too many jobs who's going to let you say leave and go check on your child. And if they do, they're not going to let you do it on the clock. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It, there are a handful of people who have bosses that, you know, do them right. You know what? Just go and handle it. Come right back. Oh, no. Nah, uh, I'm going to need you to clock out and I'm going to need you back in 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. And you like, like God damn. damn. That's the money. of that shit happening with Houston traffic <laughs> and too? And it's right. <laughs> And it's your, it's your lunch. lunch. Right. Yeah. So it's like going to take an early lunch. But it takes 30 minutes to fucking get there. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I, I understand the, I don't the know, anger bro, of like it. The aggression because she's mad, but she just can't do that shit on camera and she mm-hmm. can't really talk to that nigga crazy like that. Like, because she ain't even really just whoop him. You know what I'm saying? Just switch up some of her wording. Yeah. You know, just chill out <laughs> with the niggas and the motherfuckers and yeah. everything else cool. Right. Because she did go over there and address him and she did make it known that, hey, if you get his. Teaching any more problems, problems, such and such and such. Because on the cool, let's let's talk about this shit on the flip. Most parents don't give a damn, and they got the worst right. kids in the class. True, right? So how do you, as a, a person that teaches your child to, you know, follow the rules and shit, how do you respond when your child going to school with a nigga that's bad as hell and their parent don't give a fuck? Hmm. Like that's where that peer pressure shit come from. True. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean. <clears throat> As far as even kids having sex too soon, because they talked about that shit in middle school, and we just had a strong mind enough to not be like, oh, I need to go get some. But niggas was talking about that in middle school, and True, you like, right. nigga, just because your mom don't get off till eight, <laughs> and you got the house to yourself for three hours, <laughs> <laughs> don't mean I, to watch I got to go swim a little to, bit before exactly. she come home. Right. Like, he said we, adult swim. <laughs> kids Samurai get out Jack. the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know nothing about that commercial. Kids get out the pool. What is a dog swim? But now for real, like you, your your children gotta survive in an ecosystem mm-hmm. with all different types of home brings, mm-hmm. you know, upbringings, and it's like that's where that molding that independence into your child. Like, man, don't be a follower. Don't be at school acting up because of nobody else. Because at the end of the day, bro, it's I was at the store the other day and it was too little. It was two little niggas coming out the little storm, niggas. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. And they was cursing up a storm. Little niggas. And my nephew was in the car. He was like, oh, that's such and such. He go to school with us. They bad. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> wow. At least he, he knows. He to school with y'all. And he was like, yeah. Man, and then I heard nice. one little nigga was they like, bad. one of the dudes is like, um, <laughs> they bad. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Because a lady was walking by when, and I was like, well, damn, that nigga had respect. Touche, touche. Right. You don't, okay. you don't even like, see that too much. Yeah, right. you don't. But the nigga was... Like eleven, <laughs> so I had a I didn't even know how to yeah, feel. I'm like, feelings about it. This nigga, like he cussing up a storm, but then he, but he apologized. Right, right, right. right. So yeah. like, oh my bad, man. Shit, but anyway, though, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga. So I was in here fucking with these Pokemon's, nigga. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga came and told my Pikachu. He said, <laughs> like, "Oh my bad, man. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry, man. You know how that you ass how catch shit get? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> talking about shit." He dropped his. I had to drop my hologram right, on his ass. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, Brock never yeah, opened yeah. his eyes and shit. Like, <laughs> it gets so frustrating. And they was Asian. cursing. Like, they niggas was paying bills or something. Yeah. Probably like, was. <laughs> you expect that. <laughs> right? I, nigga, I remember a nigga when I used to stay in Cullen Park. It was a little kid, man. And I was a kid. Mm. <laughs> this little nigga had a cigarette. Oh, yeah, I remember and you telling me this. He's sagging. I'm like, bro, where's your fucking mama? <laughs> <laughs> like, you out here lighting up a, looking for a lighter on the ground to smoke. <laughs> it's the setting of where you said. As soon as you said where you was, yeah. that, that leaves all the like, scripture. Right, 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 you said, wait, you said Cullen Park? Yeah, like off of <laughs> Cullen? Yeah, you, that's, that's all you got to say. Yeah. If you from Houston, you know why. <laughs> Why this is oh that that sounds about right, nigga. Yeah, the nigga had to be six. Hey man, <laughs> life, life is hard, bro. Nigga, I hear like when you got to make your own formula and shit at an early age. Nigga, <laughs> shit get hard, nigga. Shit, man. Shit, bro. <laughs> I need me a six. 
No, diaper rash. Really? Got niggas like <laughs> nigga like Warren over here living good. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get it. How I get it that in these streets. And that nigga probably found one because he ain't never came back. Oh, he, hey man, he was a little hungry though. I used to try to speak encouraging words to him. I'm like, Damn. I can see you being I'm encouraging like, as you have your juice box. So you bad, right? <laughs> or you doing shit in the apartments that you think, <laughs> oh man, I'm playing basketball. In a basket, ooh, in a fiesta bag. So you think you bad, and a nigga smaller than you, six years younger than you, looking for a lighter to smoke a cigarette. Hey, bro. Like, bro, you. Your know, life, my your life, life was values never are in different. That. I threw that shit all out the window. I'm like, this nigga really gonna be hardcore. Yeah, <laughs> he probably a member of somebody gang right now. <laughs> Shout you out to you, man. Smoke C O G. Shout out to you, man. He already jumped like up four really ranks. Right. His throat going on. <laughs> no, niggas be in them commercials. He trying to make you feel bad and shit. I'm like, wait, wasn't that his fault? Though? Oh my god, bro. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, he said, wasn't that his fault though? I mean, you fault. knew what was. How do they hire the these box? People? The box now. Have you seen the box? The boxes of secrets. <laughs> <Mm-mm. laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, what are they saying? Bro, what they... it gives a. Big di- like on the box, it has a big disclaimer on it. It's not small anymore. You know the little. Sm- oh, they made them put the front <laughs> up. It said it's hey. a big old black and white on the front. Sixteen of the times the Roman. Sixteen times. All of these like. Yeah, all right, I see that. Let me get them camera light shorts <laughs> in the box, please. You sure, bro? Because you know, give me the whole part. Well, if you don't give me my shit, give me the sixteen. You want to know what's crazy? Like my grandfather, he smoked cigars for the longest time. And it was never like a situation where it came down to like, like respiratory. Mm-hmm. And it was weird to me because he was always smoking cigar like Maybe every day. Maybe smoke them because with cigars, it's another level. Like you gotta, you can't really inhale them. Because he never smoked cigarettes. It was just only at all. Yeah. cigars. That was it. Every day after he get off work, he just smoke him a cigar. He was chilling, healthy for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not going in his lungs. Yeah. Well, cigarettes them niggas be. <laughs> All right, why they they inhale it down the to the stomach? Yeah, bro, like they, they, got, they turn into David Blaine and shit. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> <laughs> they holding their breath for a minute. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> Lungs just like, nigga. <laughs> yeah. The whole breath smell like menthol, <laughs> right? Lungs fucking up and shit, <laughs> bro. This is this podcast. You see, is <laughs> <laughs> shit, dog. Been doing this shit for nine years you know straight. What? God damn, dog. I mean, still ain't learned. <laughs> Bro, it's crazy because they do all kind of shit like in high school to try to prevent you from doing shit. Mm-hmm. Like I remember we went to the museum. I think I was in middle school, but we went to the museum and they was like, "This is a lung oh, <laughs> smoke." And this is a lung. And I be thinking now, like all the niggas that I know smoke. They shit now. Fuck. Back when we went, <laughs> they shit black in like, this table. God. These niggas don't remember that shit. That long was black as it's fuck. Fuck yeah. yeah. It looked like a slave long, and then like a regular, a good, <laughs> what the fuck a slave, a good white man. <laughs> what's, well, a, that, that what's a slave is, long? Oh, oh my god, that is what's so a slave man. long. This just, table, nigga, black and ah. Uh, <laughs> this fucking table, bro. Fuck, y'all black know what a slave long look like? It's, it's black. black. And been through it. He said been through it. Been whipped all his life and just torn. And, um, but wait, okay. What if never they never mind. smoked a day in their I life? Know. Like, so how not they... like a for real slave. <laughs> on, you gotta explain it. It's, it's like, uh, <laughs> That's the world we live in. Got all technical. I was like, like, what do you mean, slave? <laughs> did you vote for Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like clearly you, yeah, I did hear you listen to the Kanye West earlier. <laughs> He's a MAGA. Speaking <laughs> of music, man, we was talking Ooh, about segue. this. We was talking about how we felt. Uh, about Kanye West's latest, um, stupid latest album, and yeah. and how it's Not like. Do we year. believe it's genuine, or do we believe it's kind of a um, a, a ploy? And these are I, all jokes, people. Because <laughs> I don't like, believe it's genuine. You don't? Why? Just because it was such a random flip from the shit he was doing last year in my opinion but he'd been doing them sunday service stuff That's, since like last year right but i feel like when you get as big well first of all when you get in the entertainment industry period mm-hmm. and you get as big as like kanye jay-z drake sometimes you are gonna do things so you can stay on top i feel like kanye felt like he may be getting ready to fall off because his views and opinions on things was changing and the fact that people wasn't rocking with him because he started rocking with Trump, 
So, okay, let me try this gospel thing out. And which at the end of, for one, I like the album, but I like Kanye period. It's a Gemini thing. That's why I, I like the album, but <clears throat> I don't really think it's genuine. Mm-hmm. But that's why I think I don't know. Because <clears throat> even if he didn't do gospel, I think niggas will still fuck with Kanye. <clears throat> Only because all it takes is him to do just a crazy ass production on some track. Mm-hmm. And niggas be like, bro, that's Kanye, bro. That niggas be tripping, but right. we love that nigga. Like, I like when he but wears it's like, big I, sheets I feel shirts. like he didn't he didn't have to go no. through all this. Because, you know, okay, the fad before he really started tripping, the video that came out of him uh in the studio and he was sampling the vocals to one of Michael Jackson's younger songs. Yeah. But there was never a beat. And people always <laughs> still to this day wonder what that what creative mind did he have. So it's like he's He's a creative, so it yeah. really doesn't take him to flip out or try to have any ploys because we're going to listen to your shit regardless because right. you're just that great. I mean, I like the album, but what? what? Uh-oh. Uh, Say it. Okay. Um. So being a Christian, I do not and I am not um, going to question another man or another woman's walk or whatever faith they decide to choose, or if he is a devout Christian now. However, Uh-oh. as a consumer and um, of music and of his work previously, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't help but to believe that this is a publicity stunt. Mm. I'm not saying now. Once again, I'm not saying that his walk is a publicity stunt. His Christianity, his walk with You're God, and if he hears from God, music. Yeah. I'm talking about his real. music move. What he decided to do with his music, I feel like it is a publicity stunt because. At first I didn't. At first I was like, okay, well, oh, good for him. Like he's walking, you know, he's doing what he's doing him or whatever. <laughs> However, typical Kanye, he is a um he's a narcissist. So yes, he this is true. <laughs> he he feeds off of the negative mm-hmm. and the positive. There is not a lot of people who can do that. But he takes both and he's like, well. I don't really care what none of y'all niggas say. I'm going to make this Christian album. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put cussing in it. And guess what? Y'all still are going to buy it. And it jams. And it sold. It just, it went crazy. It jams. Yes. He did? He got, he got cursing. It's and very, very minimal. It's not like your minimal original Minimal or Kanye. not. The thing but is, it's there. I, I, it's there. I no, I'm, I'm, only, I'm really for real. Well, well, well trust me and believe me. I listen only because I, I love Kanye. I think he is. He's a he's a really, we he's a genius. That. that track with Clips and Kenny G, though. Amazing. He's a genius. <laughs> and I'm not taking anything from him. However, I do feel like he is playing on the, the, the big black Christianity mm. uh mass because uh the black christian church loves music can i ask you a question what not to cut you off no go ahead since you're on the subject Mm -hmm. i don't know if y'all want to get this deep let's (laughs) (laughs) the director like hey man come on come on you want we cut a show can we get this can we can we can we get deep this real quick can I is go deep? It? Yes. Wait, shut up, bro. Deep. You're so stupid. He said, Can I go deep? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing it like that. You wanted to do it. Can I go deep? <laughs> yeah, let me, let me His voice that. never got that deep till he got a beard. <laughs> hey, man. Saying. It came. Okay, right. for real, for Go ahead. So, for real. Your ass. <laughs> How do I word this? Word it? Okay, I'm going to say it as best as I can. Help me word it to make sense. Let me know if I make sense to you. Okay. Do you think that. It happens like that, especially with the black church, because they're so forgiving. So it's like mm-hmm. they can do anything because the black church might just be like, oh. it's OK. Come as you are. Yes. Okay, and yeah. there, there are there. That's are, what I was getting at. No. Yeah. And honestly, you're right, because <clears throat> the church now has gotten to the point to where we accept any and everything. Because they're also getting so much backlash because when you say something, it's like. Well, who are you to judge? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I can tell you the Bible says I'm supposed to hold my brother accountable, but we're not going to say, we ain't going to talk about that. We're just going right. to talk about the fact that he can come into church. But they always say judge, and, not that you be right. judge. People so, use certain scriptures. You, yeah, you want to use certain scriptures to justify certain actions. And Kanye does that. He has mm-hmm. done that. His whole, mm-hmm. his whole entire movement has been around 
the things that he's done. Mm. Um, yes, he does glorify God, but it's... Th- it's just to get, I, I I feel, I'm not saying that's what it is. I feel like it's just to, to grab and cultivate people's reaction to him, to for him mm. to be in a positive light. Right. And he wants to gain the trust of the church, I feel like, because he has such a negative uh, light uh, from us from a long time because he sided with Trump. And we were just like, oh. Mm. Mm. He's not welcome to the cookout. Right. You know, people, him, people, him people side with like Trump that. just pushed him out. Yeah, and, and, and people were kind of like um, side eyeing, and then all these other publicity things, like him running into a poll when he looked at the poll and ran it. It was just different things that he's done yeah, that awesome made shit. him kind of like, yeah, he still need help. You know, he's still he's still a genius, but he still needs help. So, yeah. long story short, I do think that I'm not questioning his <clears> walk <throat> with Christ. However, I am questioning his intention on. Mm. Uh, the music that he's pushing out and all right. of these Sunday services that he's pushing out. And he is quote unquote leading uh, people to Christ. I I question that too. Cause it's just like, you know, it's a lot, but like I said, we're not going to really go that deep. I just have my personal opinions on it. And that's just that. I appreciate that. And, and the reason why we started chuckling right now can you read to them the article? I'm gonna read. This was a day ago, so we're we're having this conversation live, and I I just wanted to check, you know, anything that's been said about Kanye the past couple of days. Apparently, since yesterday, Kanye West says he may change his name to Christian Genius Billionaire Kanye West. And there you go. <laughs> it has been a great podcast, and ladies. And y'all definitely just proved it, her just, whole point. <laughs> And this was just me yeah, saying, you know what? You she what has that. a valid that's, point. Let me see. Asked, yeah, it's like I feel like the black church is like, and I feel like switched um, there. <laughs> wasn't there even a situation where like, um, she's stupid. <laughs> wasn't there a situation with like Creflo Dollar asking for a billion dollars to buy a plane, a jet? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't Ooh, really. That's put, that mega church drama. Yeah, but people don't put Kanye is a mega church. People right. don't push the church. energy yeah. towards these churches like that. Last time I checked, Jesus didn't have a billion dollar uh, plane. <laughs> they were on donkeys and horses. Mo- <laughs> it took three days to go down the street. Churches and- are businesses. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, Ultimately. I'm steadily, in, I'm in the process that, now so. where I'm learning that. Like there are people in the church where when the church pulls in so much money, certain people in certain positions are pulling in salaries. And they don't. They don't I didn't grow taxes. up that way. And I didn't realize that until I heard about the um the Joel Osteen mm-hmm. uh, situation. Right, like it's literally a business. So it's like, okay, we go get this guy who go go up there and preach the word. Yeah, you got some guys who really are leading people Y'all to salvation, like Greenleaf. you should. Greenleaf is corrupt, but I love I that show. I love Greenleaf that is show. amazing. I heard about that one too. You should watch. Baby. If if My you want, okay, Greenleaf. if you want to get a, uh, it's very corrupt. Everybody Super backstabbing corrupt. everybody, yeah. but. If you want to get if you want to get into the business side of what I'm trying to say about these churches, watch Greenleaf because you'll see that the pastor got a salary, his wife got a salary, Uh, my son is an AP, he get a salary. It's like certain different positions make like it it, it lets you see how much money how much money some of these churches reel in, bro. I'm a drummer. I've played with organists who've making a thousand dollars a Sunday. Yeah, like you don't have to work. Yeah, you come to rehearsal two three nights a week. Come to two or three services on Sunday, you made a thousand dollars non taxable for the week. Damn, or are you out there doing unholy things? Right, like I'm, oh, and I'm, I'm playing so. God Thou Art, and I'm still feeling this vodka from the club last night. Damn. So yes, the black church does welcome <laughs> everything, and they're just like, oh, Damn. you know, so forgiving. And I honestly think that. Uh, Kanye has a lot of clout behind his name and behind mm-hmm. his brand, so it's more, it's more. Uh, they're more lenient to yeah. he he's new at this. He's let him make it. Yeah. And everything is just so like itty bitty. <clears throat> now look at him. The, he a Christian Kanye billionaire Jesus Christ following what? <laughs> That's pretty much but what it's it like, is. Like, what is he? We would be wrong to not give him a chance. And what I mm-hmm. was thinking about a few days ago, because me and some other people at work were talking about this, I thought back to when Kirk Franklin announced that his C D was gonna be called Lose My Religion. We've known Kirk Franklin to be Kirk Franklin Franklin since we grew up. And it's mm-hmm. like to hear well, he naming his album Losing My Religion, we everybody was ready to jump down his throat. Mm-hmm. And they did until they heard the album. 
Right. The album had a completely different meaning. From. It's just that I had he had to step out of what he was taught the to realize of, of, of documents, like, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you still have to love everybody, regardless mm-hmm. of them being, you know, gay or the fact that they may not see Christ the way you see Christ, or I mean, they he may say losing my faith. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my religion. I was taught that I'm supposed to be this way, but I'm really not. But you would have to read and understand the Bible to to mm-hmm. know what he was talking about. I kind of feel like that's where Kanye's at, just mm-hmm. not on Kurt Franklin's level, because of course we know Kurt Franklin has been in the church his whole life. And I don't right. think that I honestly don't think that um, it's True. a bad thing that Kanye is doing Christian music. I think no. it's a good thing. Yeah. However, Snoop I don't did think it. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that churches who are serious about their growth and development with with uh, their newbies in christ i don't think that it's smart for them to open up such a large platform for him to perform at churches and right, do all yeah, this he stuff. Does kanye's new churches. himself you know so give him a chance to, if he is really serious you know develop his own soul salvation because mm-hmm. that's what he's accountable for you're right. every each and every man is accountable for their own soul salvation but when you have a big platform like that and you're leading thousands of souls like to christ so to speak We got to end this podcast now. Wake up, Barbie. Why snoring? Leave Barbie. Yeah, um, I was like, God, Barbie snoring. So we we have this large platform. I think it's. Bro. I think shepherds. This podcast of, is over now. I think I'm, you try, I'm trying a, to continue. No, nah, I, I I get it. I think you, shepherds you was on of the, the right path. Be very, he's out. <laughs> He's should out. be very self-conscious of who they bring into red. their house to to speak God to their sheep. It, bro. I'm so sorry, and that's Marisa, all that I'm I. So sorry, it's so fine, but I just that's what I because while you were talking, <laughs> I was hoping she was gonna keep me face. around. I was I like, because no, I was seeing looked. some. Ross is trying to hope you. I didn't. Yeah, hear. I was hoping. Like, hey, keep talking more, Malisha. Get a, a good second. Just you could have just said a few <laughs> more syllables. It would have been and great. She started snoring. He was like, <laughs> "Fuck, bro." He heard her though. He heard her snoring the whole time. Yeah, I, I did. thought I was tripping. I was like, "I know I'm not tripping." He was like, <laughs> and then. That's why I was doing that face. And when you pause that one second Fuck and we all know. heard us snoring, he was like, oh, it's over, bro. Let's it's go. over, bro. Oh, my God. God damn. It was I such hate a that good it topic. happened on such a, uh, a good time. Yeah, she heard you talking shit. It's time to go, She coughed man. up. <laughs> there we go. Listen. Look, listen. There. See, it's your fault, bro. It's not my fault. It's your fault, bro. You she was crazy. sleep. She wasn't doing nothing, dog. God damn, bro. I'm crying, Brody, come bro. Here. Come here, bro. I am crying. Brody. Brody, come meet your master. Oh my god, bro. What happened? We, ain't, we didn't do nothing. She was just I smart. told you it ain't just when she excited. <laughs> I've been telling that nigga that. He's you ever, he you trying ever, to put that in his mind. You ever had a Charlie horse wake you up out of sleep? <laughs> well, this has been a great podcast. Oh, shit. oh God. Oh, shit. This has been an awesome episode, Or you think you're falling, then you wake up. <laughs> this has been a fantastic episode. I want to thank. Doug, I, home repent. I want to thank Marcus. Brandy was eating Mally. popcorn in her sleep. <laughs> I want to thank the director Nisha for killing it. I want to thank Nick the for being here. Stamina. You know what I'm cool. saying? Cool. And of cool. course, I want to thank the cool. homie Blondie <laughs> for holding it down. You feel me? Oh my God, bro. Damn, bro. That shit got me crying, bro. And this I is what cried. I deal with. You'll see more of my perspective on this on my uh vlog channel so check that Don't talk out about me bad. I'm, it with I'm not talking about nobody bad i'm just have some funny edits body to body girl yeah you know what you do i like it when you take control like you got something to prove and you know that i'm open and ready